Hey, what's up, Oliver Great? This is Jason, and also Cool Like That Peeps. What's up, what's up? In the house. Um, I am in the car right now, actually. Uh, you guys can see my shirt is all wet and um, sweaty and hot, and so I'm hot and sweaty. Um, I'm actually um, just getting done with the gym. Um, got to work out a little bit. Um, I'm not going to show you what gym I'm at because, you know, you're going to be wondering why I support this gym, but, you know, really... <laughs> um, it, it's got everything that I need at this gym so uh, basically I'm at the gym <laughs> but uh, as you guys can see I broke my uh, not broke my hand fractured my hand the doctor kept on saying it's broken 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 but it's just fractured a hairline fracture um, I had to go in today to get it um, splinted which it feels so uncomfortable uh, because basically I'm just um, trying to lift things and trying to type at work because I, I have to type at work and look at what what's going on yeah so and today I had to do I had to uh, work out and the only thing I could do is really leg movements today so I, I'm gonna work my way up and I guess this video is gonna be more like um, the word I can't because I know a lot of people say I can't do this I can't do that I can't you know do so much stuff oh by the way before I get into that because I want I want to um, uh, make sure that I, I remember to say this. Um, happy anniversary, uh, Out Labor Great. Uh, Out Labor Great has been on YouTube for three years, going strong. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of allies that, that has come to our channel and, wa and been watching us for um, for years. And now it's three years, so it's basically we've been on this channel for three years. Um, I don't know. I I don't think it's been that long, has it? Oh my goodness, it's been that long already. It just, if I guess time flies when you're having so much fun and with this channel. Um, in a couple of weeks, we're gonna take a little hiatus from from the channel to kind of regroup and everything like that. And we do have a surprise. It's hard not to tell, but I have to, I, I was ordered by Michelle not to say anything. So we're gonna be welcoming someone new into our family even though we welcomed her already uh, personally uh, oh I just said her <laughs> whoops um, I'm not gonna edit that out but I didn't say who it is or who it is it or whatnot so you'll just have to find out in a couple of weeks people probably in the middle of um, July but the word I can't I, I just realized that a lot of people tend to use the word I can't do this I can't do that and that's one of the things where I try to keep it out of my vocabulary and it's one of those things where people tend to use it a lot and it's like you're using it just to use it but really can can't you or can you or can't you you know I, <laughs> I was like can you really not do that you know, can you really not work out? Can you really not? And my doctor said, so you have to take a little break from working out. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, are you serious? I almost started crying. I almost started crying thinking that she just said that. But really, I, I put it into my perspective and be like, sorry, I'm drinking my shake. It's not very pretty right now. But really, I can't do that? No, I can. And I was thinking to myself, I really can work out and the reason for that is is because if you're using if your your finger is broken look at my my finger is like fractured right there's other body parts that you can work out people so do you really need to take a break from working out a lot of people say take a break take a break take a break there's a certain time where you can take a break and you're you're it's great you can take a break from doing certain things but there's also body parts that you can go ahead and work out um sorry cute guy cute guy in front of me he's trying to look at me getting into his car muscular cute guy uh, <laughs> but uh but can you really say the word i can't um and i really got to a point where i used to say that a lot um while working out and say i i said no i can't do that because i'm sick i can't do this because i have i i'm sore in certain places but in a way if you're you're very conscious about what you're working out, what your your body parts are, you can do certain things. Just avoid the areas that, that you're hurting. And a lot of people say has pain in the leg, but your upper body, is it painful for you in the upper body? So I, I'm sure there's certain certain people that, that tends to be painful in all areas of their, their life. But 
you know, it's like we have to get to a point where we, we stop saying the word I can't and just do and be able to be able to get into a mindset of I can do these things and think positive because I've here on YouTube and on Facebook and in, in my personal life, I, I hear the words I can't a lot. And it's like, yes, you can. Even if you have to sit down and do a bicep curl, even if you have to, you know, do it, um, sit down and do a late uh, calves workout, just to do something um, to keep yourself active, you can do that. So, you know, practice it in this next week. Practice it and be able to say, I can do all things. You know, because in, in a way, possibly, anybody can do something. You know, there's artists that is able to not be able to use their hands, but can use other body parts to actually <laughs> make painting. You know, there's people that has no arms, no legs. And it's it's funny because the gym that I used to work for had a picture up that showed people that had no limbs and had a beautiful body and they could still work out. Uh, and the words I can't should not be in anybody's vocabulary. And really, it's something that you really have to put in your mindset of I can do all things you know we're fortunate most of us are fortunate to be born with all our limbs most of us are fortunate to be born with no respiratory problems most of us are able to do different things with our body that no one else can do and it's it's crazy that we have the words I can't especially if you you're able to walk around uh, without no no limitations. Um, I saw a video like a couple um, weeks ago. They had this guy. I believe he had MS. He was in a wheelchair, could not move, but he was lifting weights, even though the weights were a lot. <laughs> he, he looked very thin, but he was very strong enough to move those weights, and he did not want anybody to help him. So it's when when I saw that, it's very moving and touching, and seeing people be able to still work out while having these ailments makes me look at a person that has all four limbs and ha has no ailment at all, but only is in pain for a certain amount of time. Make me look at them and think, really? Can you really say I can't? Because you know what? That's not an excuse anymore. I can't is not an excuse and it shouldn't be in our vocabulary. And I'm sorry to be harsh about it, but a, a lot of people use the words I can't in vain and it's it's kind of crazy to me, but I guess that's my video for today. I just wanted to talk about that and just looking around the gym and a lot of people were like, how can you actually work out? How can you actually work out with a finger like that? I can because I have my legs. I still can do leg exercises. I still can do different types of things. Even if I'm running on the treadmill, at least I'm being active. So I can, even when, when somebody has, has one limb, one leg, and they have a, a have a metal leg or what, whatever you call it. Um, they still can, you can still do things, you know. And I I feel bad for that. I, you shouldn't feel bad for a person who who is able to do it and is missing a limb. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just rambling. I'm just thinking. It's like crazy to me that people say I can't and use it in vain. So I will catch you guys all later. I love you. I'll put this on both channels. I think. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, bye.